Hi, it's Sue again. It's Good Friday today. So this is the last part of this Easter story until Sunday now. So I asked you a question yesterday. I said, what was the name of the hill that Jesus was led up yesterday as he carried his cross? And there's two answers to this. First one, it depends which language you use. So if you've got either of these answers, Calvary or Golgotha, those were the answers to the question from yesterday. So let's have a look inside our egg today. Two nails, which if we put together, make a cross shape. So nails are in our story today, and a cross. So let's start our story. There on the hill, the Roman soldiers nailed Jesus' hands and his feet to a wooden cross and they raised it up high. Jesus hung there between two thieves. Around 12 o'clock midday, the sky turned black. Jesus' friends wept. The religious leaders laughed. And they said, you saved other people, why can't you save yourself? When the time came for Jesus to die, he closed his eyes and he said, it is finished. He had completed what he had come to do because of his great love. Now one of Jesus' followers, Mr Jefferson, <laughs> there we are. A man named Joseph of Arimathea had Jesus' body taken down from the cross and put into a tomb. And a large stone was put in front of the tomb so that nobody could get in and a soldier, Roman soldier, put there to guard the body. That was the end of a very long, sad day. A long, sad Friday. The first Good Friday. Now I don't know why it's called Good Friday. To me it seems as though it should be Bad Friday. Because lots of bad things happened to Jesus. But it's called Good Friday because of the good news that Jesus died because he loved us so much. And we can know him today. So my question for you today is, things happened at 12 o'clock, apart from Jesus dying, there were several things that happened to, around in the area around Calvary's Hill. Look in Matthew, in the Bible, in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 27, and see if you can find out what else happened at 12 o'clock noon. And there's several activities on the Facebook page today all to do with the cross because the cross is a symbol a Christian symbol all around the world people will think of Jesus when they look at the cross so you could make one a first suggestion is to make it out of finger painting lots of different bright colors draw a cross or get your mum and dad to draw a cross on a piece of paper and then press lots of nice colored finger marks in it cut it out and put it in your window so other people can see it. The other one is to get a paper plate and to do a sunset on the plate and then get some black paper and cut out three black crosses and put them in front of your sunset. And because I'm not meeting tomorrow, because we're not having a video tomorrow, one more thing. An Easter garden. Now when I was a little girl I used to make these every Easter. I used to make one for myself and one for some an older lady or some an older person who was on their own. So perhaps we could do that this year and give it to somebody who can't get out, but leave it on their doorstep. So there's grass that I took from the garden because we were having a clear up. There's a pond here made out of silver foil with some stones around it. Some flowers, you could pick some real ones or you could do some paper ones. And the tomb here is a yoghurt pot with grass over the top, a stone to go in the entrance or at the sides, 
and three crosses, which is three little twigs tied together with some string put into the hill. So there's my Easter garden. So that's three things you can have a go at. Or there's still the Lego scene that you could make for me and send me. And I'd love to see your pictures and your ideas. So we're just going to close our eyes and finish now with a prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you that you loved us so much that you went through all those bad things on the cross. Thank you. Amen. I will see you on Sunday. Have a good weekend. Bye.